I want to welcome you to this update for the First Presbyterian Church of Birmingham, Michigan, everybody's church, for December 1st, 2022. I know it's hard to believe it is December, but with the temperatures outside and the sanctuary decorated like this, um, it really is December. Uh, this will be the second Sunday of Advent coming up uh, on the 4th, but it's also a C, as in the letter C, C Sunday. And here's the first C, and that is cans. So hopefully as you come into the parking lot, you will bring your recyclable cans, and I suppose bottles too, put them in a, a bag and just set the bag down by your car. And members of the youth group will come pick them up. The money will go to uh, the Boy Scouts, it'll go to foster care, and it'll go to help the youth group. So that's the first C is cans. The second C is coins, coins. This is loose change Sunday. All the loose change that you bring in will go to the deacons fund. And thank you to all of you who have given towards helping the family um, that we're supporting in Ann Arbor as they try and get their son uh, some experimental medical treatment. If you haven't had a chance to do that, you can just uh, write a check and put to the family. Um, and it makes a huge difference. So thank you to those of you who've done it. Next is communion. And so uh, communion, uh, we want you to have your communion elements ready this Sunday uh, because it is communion Sunday at both 8.30 and at 10 o'clock um, so that you can, those of you online, can participate in communion with us. Uh, now, children uh, bridge two things, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So, parents of children, please bring them this Sunday because they are going to be helping out at the communion table. This is one of the unique and wonderful things that we do in that we help at, have children at the communion table. And so they'll be helping with the liturgy this Sunday. So be sure to bring your children. As I said a moment ago, the, what connects all of the C's on this C Sunday are the children. And so the children after church, children will uh, be invited to come here along with you adults. And uh, we have cookies, crafts, and caring. There will be cookie decorating over here. There will be crafts, crafts back in there. <laughs> I have to get this right. And then there will be an opportunity for caring for all of us. As you all can see, we are already set up uh, to pack baskets of love for uh, Christmas for children and families at Alcott. And so again, we encourage you to come because there will be Cans, coins, communion, children at everything, cookies, crafts, and then carry. Um, and then there is one more piece that I want to add to this. The one last piece uh, that I wanted to talk about for children is the angel tree. As you can see, we only have a few tags left. We encourage you to come and pick one up if you haven't, and thank you to all of you who have, because this will make a great Christmas. Uh, for the, the children at Alcott, many of whom will not have anything for Christmas uh, unless uh, our generosity overflows. The final update for this uh, weekly announcement for the 1st of December is that on the 18th of December, that's a Sunday, two weeks from this Sunday, immediately after church, there will be a meeting of youth parents. We're inviting all the parents or grandparents of youth in our church, including the fifth grade parents who will be uh, moving up, the fifth graders who will be moving up into the middle school, uh, because we wanna talk to you about the three possibilities uh, for youth group coming up. And so you'll be getting an email, please look for the email. Each of the uh, possibilities will be laid out in the email, and then we'll come together and talk about um, how we're gonna keep your kids uh, learning about Jesus, having fun, and being part of the church. Here's my phone number, 210-508-0184, 210-508-0184. Give me a call if you need anything. I would say go out and enjoy God's good creation, but because of the temperatures today, bundle up if you're going to do that. Find something to be grateful for, and then share that gratitude with everyone you meet because it makes a difference. And may God's blessings be with you now and always. Bye.